just simply brushing the teeth more often and using mouthwash can actually prevent the number one cause of infection in the hospital. It's one out of four in hospital infections is caused by pneumonia. So if we can do things and we know that this reduces pneumonia in patients, it's something we must do and it's very simple and cost effective. Non-ventilator hospital acquired pneumonia is the pneumonia that you get when you're not on a ventilator. There's been so much work done on uh, ventilator associated pneumonia in the hospital um, over the past decade that that problem has really gotten much better. But pneumonia still is a very big problem in the hospital and in fact, latest data from the CDC which was just released on the November 1st through their surveillance program shows that it's actually the number one infection in hospitals in the United States. In studies that I compared equally sick patients, those patients that go on to get hospital acquired pneumonia are eight and a half times more likely to die. Making this a serious safety issue and patient safety concern in U.S. hospitals. The natural question to ask is where does the pneumonia come from? It turns out that pneumonia comes from germs in the mouth. When the germs in the mouth are allowed to flourish without any type of oral care, those germs can become very harmful and little tiny particles of germs may slip into the lungs. So we found that our most important weapon to stop hospital acquired pneumonia is a toothbrush and mouthwash to keep the mouth clean during every patient on every unit's hospital stay. When we're in the hospital, for a variety of reasons, aspiration becomes a bigger problem. And so most, of the, most pneumonia that occurs in the hospital occurs from germs in the mouth that end up in the saliva that you swallow. Um, and so that's why oral hygiene in the hospital is even more important than it is um, when you're not here. With this study specifically, it really highlights the team approach and that I'm working with people across all of the teams and everybody that comes in contact with the patient. Our primary person on this is our, our nursing assistants, and that works with the nurses, the nursing assistants, speech pathology, speech therapy, occupational therapy. There's really nowhere that there's a person that is not participating in this. So what we want to do here, we, we really want to replicate those results, and so we brought that same protocol here to Orlando Regional Medical Center because we'd really like to do what we can as nurses leading the effort um, to improve the patient care as much as we can.